of something that you guys need to remember for all of these problems. Simplify, apply the operation, and then simplify. So in, in this example, we can simplify. I see there's something to factor. Rather than saying the LCM is x squared minus 25 and times x squared plus 6x plus 5, that looks really, really confusing. You could do that, but that looks very, very difficult. So applying my um, uh, advice, simplify, apply operation, and simplify. When I factor, simplify by factoring, I get x minus 5 times x plus 5 plus 6 over x plus 5 times x plus 1. Does everybody see what I did? So now, if you guys look at the LCM, you can see that, well, they both already share an x plus 5, right? So the LCM, um, LCM is going to, has to contain x plus 5. And then what else does it have to contain? An x minus 5 and a x plus 1. Now, would both of these expressions divide into that? Yeah, x plus minus 5 and x plus 5 divides into that, leaving x plus 1 as a quotient. x plus 5 and x plus 1 divides into that, leaving a um, quotient of x minus 5. So it works. So now we just need to get our, we need to get this to be the common denominator. So therefore, I've had multiply this by x plus 1 on both sides. And here I multiply by x minus 5. Do you guys see how now my denominators are going to be the same? Yes? No? Questions? No questions? Then what I would do on the numerator is when you're multiplying these, I would apply distributive property because we are going to want to. So once we apply the operation, we're going to want to simplify. To shorten up my steps, I'm just going to use this as my common denominator since now they all are common denominators. And I'm not going to multiply this out. Um, but however, an answer on the EOC might have it as, a, as a, um, a polynomial to the third degree. They might multiply all those. But for time purposes, I'll just leave them as factors. So on the numerator, I'll have 4x plus 4 plus 6x minus 30. And then my denominator would be x plus 1 times x minus 5 times x plus 5, which is my least common mul um, multiple or denominator. Then I can combine like terms. And I have a final answer of 10x minus 26 all over, in factored form, that. Just remember, though, they might, you might have an answer choice that's, that's multiplied out. right? So therefore, you'd have to use FOIL in the box method to do that. But for time purposes, we'll keep it short. Anybody have any questions on that?